my god. Whoa! Hey, Urban Adventures, welcome to another episode. This is a very special episode. I'm very excited by excited about this episode. Today we are here at High Temple Water Sports. Getting ready to pick up one of these bad boys back here. I'm here a little early. Originally for a 14 footer, a little small robo turned it into this. Got my YouTube channel on there. Picked up this real nice dually rack from Facebook. Got my little storage box. This is where I'm gonna be storing my locators, my tools and whatnot this is my brand new bass pro life jacket can't wait to put it on and take this craft on its maiden voyage well we're just gonna wait till they open at 10 o'clock we're gonna go in so I do the paperwork and call it done take it out on its first maiden voyage I'm excited guys hopefully you guys are excited too man been a long awaiting I've been wanting one of these for since since they first came out I'm thinking that one of these is mine I'm not 100% sure but yeah, I can't wait. Now let's go take a quick look at it looks like we got two PA 12s up oh, two it's a PA 12 and a 14 so you get to see them side by side Hopefully one of this is mine, because I'm excited right now. Can't wait to get it on the water. Wanna get the green color with the Mirage Drive 360. This one's got the kick up turtle fins. And I'm super excited. I'm not sure if this is one of this is mine, but find out in a bit yeah guys if you ever need any uh, Hobie kayaks uh, High Temple is one of the largest uh, dealer in near the Twin Cities area for Hobie and they can sell all kinds of Hobie kayaks so this is the side of the store this is the front of the store they got a couple of nice displays they also sell a whole bunch of other stuff too. They sell accessories, kayak accessories, and everything. So, yeah, this is pretty neat. All right, guys, the Hobie is now on. I am ready to go do some fishing, guys. Let's take a quick look at it. That was my boat that was sitting over there. So, it is now on my trailer. It is ready for some action. Here it is, guys. Super excited about this. It's gonna be a big game changer now. All right, thanks a lot, High Temple. I am out here on my maiden voyage out at Spoon Lake and Launch the Spoon Lake, and now I'm at Lake Jarvier, I believe. We're here, my new Hobie. Just kind of getting used to it. I cast it a few times with the chatterbait. Nothing yet, so I'm just gonna drive around, get used to this. Yeah, so far I'm liking it. 
it's gonna be back on the water. Also, I just met a new ang uh, new Hobie owner too. He's fishing right behind me. He has the same boat. Only difference is that his is a 14. I'm a, mine is a 12 footer. He picked up. He picked his up on Thursday, and I picked up mine today. So, yeah, pretty exciting. Kind of playing with the rudder right now. Getting used to the rudder. Now I really like this system. You can control the Mirage Drive and the rudder with one hand. You do have the rudder control on this hand as well, which is which is nice. So I can film and control the rudder at the same time and the Mirage Drive at the same time. Yeah, getting some good exercise right here. Work those abs. Hey, airplane. Where are you going? Boom, turns on the dime, guys. Man. Love this. It turns on a dime. It does give you. It does jar you too if you don't. If you're not ready. But wow, I love this thing. Got a first wave. You can see how this handles it. The first time handling the waves. The wake from a boat. I'm gonna go straight into it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that was kind of funny, you know. You know when you're driving fast and you're going up a hill and then you slowly come down, kind of like a roller coaster. That's what it kind of felt like right there. Only not as uh, intense. <laughs> That's one thing you gotta get used to is the wakes from other boats, wind. All right, I'm gonna attempt to stand up. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> A little scary yet. <laughs> the wobbleness is uh, what, what I'm scared of so far. But I think within time, I'll get more comfortable with it. Just like I'm getting more comfortable now. If I just sitting in here. Let's get out of here. Need some baby bass swimming around. That's pretty cool. Some little baby bass. Could have landed a pike too. That'd be awesome. I'm up for a, I'm up for a pike. I'm up for anything actually. Oh my god, there's a big old muskie. Oh my god, did I get that on camera? That was a big old pike or a muskie. Oh my god. Holy cow. That thing was huge. That thing was huge.
Almost got one. Holy cow. Figuring right now, see if they'll come back. Ooh, that gave my heart a thump. Oh my God. Oh guys, man, that was something else, guys. I missed the big fish. Yeah, I saw it swimming and I, and I, uh, I reeled my line in real quick so it gets closer to the fish. It jumped and it went for my lure, but I, I kind of, I kind of pulled it off too fast. It was like a big, it was either a big northern or a big musky. Yeah, it was big. It was like, holy cow. Yeah, it was just right behind me right here. Yeah. I almost got my first fish on this thing. <laughs> right. All right, guys, we are all set, all packed up and ready to go. More people are on the way here. Getting ready to go fishing too. The uh, boat launch is pretty full now, but I am done, so pretty good first time experience on the hobby kayak. I'm loving it. Great kayak and everything. I don't think I will change a thing, so I'm glad I went this route. But yeah, time for some more upgrades, fish locator, some decals, make it look badass. Ready to go. Got my plugs out. Have to make sure the plugs are out. All right, Urban Adventures. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode with me. We'll catch you on the next episode.